undefeated Huskies have come to downtown Hartford to take on the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga Mox as we welcome you to UConn women's basketball on SNY. Jim Foster hired a young Gene Oriama. Jim was a baby at that time as well. The opening tip is controlled by the Huskies. Foster told me I got to go with my freshman point guard. You know, you may have some lumps early, but it's great for the long haul. Count the basket and the foul. The Fisa Collier ends the early drought for UConn. Samuelson can't hit the three. Collier kept it alive. Williams fetter for two. Gabby Williams off to Sanaya Chong. Chong, Collier got great position inside, and she's doing it all for UConn right now. Really First, good box out. Yeah, with the box out off the miss by Kiana Gilbert. Samuelson's three is good. Samuelson. Turn around for two. Key and Nurse, look at the nice help. Double team on the ball. There's the first turnover of the night for Chattanooga. It results in a Gabby Williams layup for her first points. Against Baylor. Sanaya Chong on the drive for two. Good team defense by UConn. Nice play by Samuelson to see the ball and come over and try to get outside the lane to stop it. Samuelson flips it up for two. They find Gabby Williams. There's the horn. That's the end of the first quarter. Tiptoes to the basket. Couldn't get it. Batted out to Collier. Collier got free. Gabby Williams found her. Crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, hey, they've done this over the years. Point guard by committee. Katie Lou Samuelson, Gatanuga. Well, I know why Foster was telling me before the game he's going with his freshman. She's outstanding. Better entry pass that time from Molly Bent. Collier back outside to Nurse. Her second field goal attempt looked really good off her hand. Splashes down for her first points of the night. Katie Lou Samuelson got a piece of it. Here she comes back the other way. Couldn't finish it, but right there is Molly Bent to clean it up for her first points. You know, they're all so diverse in what they can do and their abilities on the court that they can switch defensively. Offensively, they can interchange in any Teams Florida and Indiana, each by single digits after that win over Rutgers. Gabby Williams showed a little of that speed. Finishes with the left hand. She has seven. Williams. A great position and an easy two for Gabby Williams. There's a turnover. It's short lived though. Good job by Sanaya Chung to get on the floor to Samuelson. Williams, great dish to the piece of Collier. A lot of action in there. It was kind of clogged. Miscommunication. Easy takeaway for Gabby Williams and the easiest two she'll have tonight. Williams reaches over to knock it away. Another turnover for Chattanooga. Here's Gabby Williams running it up ahead to Collier for two. Points, eight rebounds, four assists. And here's another takeaway and another layup for UConn. Samuelson puts it in. Track. It took taking away basketball for me to realize my passion. She also said there was a silver lining to that injury. Shay Ralph saw her. Dot com. Collier. Outside to Bent. Molly Bent knocks down a three. Whether it's on the bench or on the bike, in this case. Nurse knocks it down. Center feet made the three in the third quarter. 0 for 7 now on three-point attempts. Samuelson gets the roll. Nothing run. Samuelson can't start a new run, but not done yet. 19 points for Katie Lou. Chong, Nurse, Bent. Collier Butler, the five on the floor for UConn. Collier, two more, the feed from Char. Funny every time. That three-pointer is missed by Bolden. And Molly Bent has it. Quick up to Nurse. Nurse to the basket. Good take for two. Okay, Joyner has worked so hard in that low post for Chattanooga. Collier. Player. Oh, nice Collier. cut again. The feed from Char. Butler, oh, UConn continues to get what they want in the paint here tonight. Irwin, good pass into Butler for two. Off the hands of Butler. 
Still fighting, though, and good fight by Natalie Butler, who has six. Butler reaches in, knocks it away up to Irwin. No need to shoot. Although the crowd here wanted her to shoot. The score will hold 80 to 43 as the final. You got to give Butler credit for not giving up and blocking that down there defensively. Love the fight in that kid. So the old friends meeting at half court. It's a victory for Oriemas Huskies, 80 to 43 over the mocks of Chattanooga. 80 consecutive wins for the Shukan program, dating back to that November loss at Stanford in 2014.